Welcome back to Living Oklahoma. That crazy music only means one thing. <laughs> We're talking to Julia Laughlin about container gardening tips on growing Oklahoma. Good morning. Good morning, Paul. How are you? I'm doing great. So Good. you brought some new toys to share with yes, us. Yes, I love to bring toys. In. Perfect. Give me the lowdown. Well, and, and you're probably right now still kind of shopping around, trying to fill the garden in. Yeah. May is a great time. There's mm. The garden centers are full of stuff, but I was going to give you the magic horticulture tip for container okay. gardening. So when you put stuff in container, we say that we use three parts. This will make it always work out right. Okay. We use kind of a tall, attractive plant. This is just a yellow coleus I got, mm. but that's, call, that's called um, the thriller. Okay, And because perfect. that kind of pulls your eye and it's like, oh, that's so pretty. And then okay. we use something. I'll name this one Michael Jackson. So this is the thriller. The thriller. Got it. Right. Okay. <laughs> and then we use kind of an intermediate plant. Ooh. If I can show you that, that's mm -hmm. a little antenna that kind of fills in the pot and that's called the filler. Okay. So we've got the thriller, the filler. And then we usually want to put one that will kind of spill over the edge. And I can't fit this one in the pot, so I'm going to hold it. <laughs> okay. But that one's called the spiller. So that's the key. I like that. And you can usually remember it. So start with driller, okay. filler, and then spiller. And if you'll do that, if you'll use those three parts, your pot will almost always look perfect. Because it just, it balances proportionately for us visually. Mm -hmm. And so um, it, it just comes together and makes the pot look finished. Any special plants that need to go in pots? Well, make sure that the ones you put together, if they're going in the sun or the shade, uh -huh. you know, look at that little tag that says shade only. So these are all sun plants, but if you were putting this on a on a porch that was going to be shaded in the morning and the afternoon, yeah. go with all shades. So mix those okay. together and then still kind of look for your three different sizes that will make it look full. And then I was going to mention something today, Paul, is think about putting some herbs in there. This is a little basil plant. Oh, I love basil plants. I they do smell too. so good. Would you like to smell uh -huh. it? <laughs> Oh, can you smell it at home? I can smell it. Oh, it's strong. Oh, I love basil. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but you might think that of that for one of your plants in okay. your pot. And, and you could use another herb like thyme or rosemary mm -hmm. or something. But it makes it really fun because you can have this pretty pot, yeah. nice foliage, and then pop that into your sauce. <laughs> I like it. How do you keep these watered? Well, they're hard. It's mm -hmm. it's easy at the beginning of the season, but then it gets hard because it dries out so quickly. It's above ground. Mm -hmm. It just dries out quickly. Mm -hmm. I have one secret tip, and that is when it gets really, really hot, put some ice cubes on there in the morning. You know, nice. keep, you know, from your ice maker, or get a bag of ice, put ice cubes on top of the soil. They'll make, melt slowly and yeah. then they'll water the plant. It's a good way to, if you're going off to work, to make mm -hmm. sure that they get water in the hottest part of the day. Can I use iced coffee, wake them up as well? Try it. Okay, we'll do that. <laughs> Thanks so much, Julia. <laughs> She's always in the know. For more information, you can give them a call, 405-713-1125. You can also visit extensionokstate.edu for the Tulsa office, 918-746-3700, or visit them in person, 4116 East 15th Street in the Big T-Town.